Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. So, we're going to continue on modifying the user interface and we're going to continue on using minimalistic text to do so. So, what we did so far, created the time. So let's uh, move that down. I actually want to put the date on the top. So all we have to do now is hold down on the screen, go over to our minimalistic text, our minimalist text, sorry, I, I always give it a weirder name. We're going to do a 3 by one it's the same size as the other one. And we're just going to click on it. We'll drop on down. And of course we have this wonderful menu that's vertical, so I'm going to have to swap. Um, we saved last time. Our other piece, so let's restore. Let's get all that fun information. You can see I have a whole bunch of things right here. And uh, it actually took me a couple seconds to find the template that I actually use. So instead of having you watch through this, I'm just going to quickly speed through it. Thank you. A quick way to tell if your template's right is if your font and coloring is there. The text is maintained. It keeps a complete archive of all of your widgets so it's very very nice way of quickly bringing up all your hard work and that's not the only thing it kept though we gotta now go to our custom layout and modify this a little and I'm gonna zoom in just so we got the full picture Oops. Okay, so of course we don't want to do time here. We want to do date. So, the nice thing about minimalist text, of course, is the fact that you can have any range of date, time, in text form, in digit form, and really just customize the feel. So, what I want to do is I want to do The month in sh text short. So we have APR, and this is just because I want to fit it in a certain um, amount of space. And then I want to do the day. in number form you can see you can do make it say it's Monday you can make it say it's what week it is in the month it's just fully customizable but we're just gonna stick with this and then we're gonna do the year which must be in the beginning and we're gonna do decade and you know what I don't like how that looks. So we're gonna we're we're gonna do year full. Why not? You can see it doesn't fit though. So let's go back and see where the shortcomings are. So you can see it takes up two spaces, but because of the way that you're orienting, it, it actually takes up three. So that's a bummer that it takes up two, but it takes up that much space. So you know what we're going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to click on this. And we're going to save. And we're going to say Ninja Time. Our Ninja... date here give it a nice unique identifier if you're wondering about that that's the thumb keyboard I have a video on that and now that it's saved what we're gonna do is go back take this and say goodbye So we're going to go now to widgets, 
and we're going to add a larger one and we'll fit in that space that we want. So you can see there's a lot there's a back and forth. You you there's a lot of back and forth. So hopefully with this you can kind of see and get the feel of how it is to really customize your user interface. There's a little bit of effort that needs to be put in. So now we're going to select the 4x1. But you can see that saving really saves you a lot of time. And so we're going to do the ninja date year. You can see our template was loaded successfully. And hopefully the when going back to this the screen we're given a nice beautiful result. See? Very very cool. Now the reason why I do the short is yeah, sure for April it's short, but when you get something like February it's going to cut off. So now we have this nice little date and you can see it's fitting along the contour of the background so it, it, it's it, it's getting very very nice so what else can we do um, as you can saw it didn't take any time to make this and compared to the last one so it's getting faster once you start building your pieces and having your font size and your predefined layout set everything else comes at a little faster space pace, especially when you start saving the widgets. So let's add some information down here. I like putting the, the actual day that it is and the, uh, the temperature. So let's, let's add that towards the bottom. Um, and we'll go with a 4x1, similar to what we did at the very top. And the reason why is just to keep it symmetrical, as this is a very symmetrical background. Sorry to speed this up and pull your attention away from what I'm doing, but this actually failed. So I'm creating this widget right now, and once I went through and created all the features that I wanted in this widget, and I backed out, the widget did not appear on the screen. This is something that happens often, and so now I'm going to discuss how to go about this problem, an issue that you most likely will encounter and the solution will hopefully help you through this uh, issue. We actually don't have a widget at all. And by quickly panning over, we don't, I don't see it on the screen. So what I'm going to do is we'll just try to add it again. I apologize for this. This is one of, of the uh, little annoyances about this app, but it, it obviously has a lot of merits on its own, so we'll just call this Ninja Day Temp. Let's just see if it loads on the screen. Nope. So when something like this happens, I tend to actually move to another workspace on adding widgets. So what I'm going to do is uh, quickly remove and make space and let's add a widget here. And I'm going to add that one. I don't know why this works, but it does. I'm going to call it again Ninja Day Temp 2. And then let's just see if it even, even takes place. So we'll back out of here. And you can see I have a nice big bar on the screen. So that works. So we'll customize it from here and then we'll drag it over. Um, use so, I don't know why this works this way, but if you're running into problems like this, move to a separate screen that you're not doing your widgets on, and then add them there. Somehow it works better. I, I have no explanation 
it's just experience with using this enough times is what I what I do. Um, so what we want to do now is restore. Of course, we didn't save what we originally did, so let's go quickly recreating. I'll zoom in. And let's add. So we want to add the day in text. Nope. Day of the week. The day is actually the number. We want the day of the week. And then we want to add the temperature. Which you can see is a dot right now. But let's see it on the screen first. Okay, so let's modify this to add temp. So what we have to go is the global settings, weather services, we can use whatever we want, update interval, retry delay, define weather location manually, which is what I have to do for some reason, and then weather location just enter in your zip test it out and then we're gonna go back back and we can see oh it works we just need to do a little bit more tweaking of the size and there we go since Wednesday is the biggest of all the date names we'll know the rest will fit unless the temperature rises to like a hundred or something then we'll need to change that up a little and then all you have to do drag and drop and there we go we have the temperature in there and you can see it's a little off symmetrics so if we wanted to really make it reflect the top a little we can go back in go to custom layout And instead of doing day of the week, we can do day of the week short. And then we can go back and make this. It's right size again. And there we go. It's, it's back to being symmetri symmetrical with the site. And so there we go. Time, date, day of the week, temperature. We are on our way, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and more are to come. Thank you, and have a great day.